Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a continuation of my palette bingo, palette roulette, whatever you want to call it. I have been using it when I'm not filming. So, I have my little list, I have my little bag, I'm going to shake her up. And I have my stack of palettes right here along with the cover effects and the Morphe because those are some I've been grabbing too. I'm gonna number three. I just used number three, so I want to try something. I want something different. I just used that Tarte Holiday palette in the other video. So number two, ring the alarm. Number two, Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill. All right, Miss Hill. Let's get you going. Everything, um, foundation and everything is pretty much on. No highlighter, no brows, just foundation. And I did use a face powder to go ahead and set my eye primer. That's already done. I'm going to go into, I don't want it to be too orangey, but these, you know, it's orange and red. I mean, you know, I'm going to go into alert. I always start with Rush when I use this palette. So I'm going to start with something different. And you guys know the technique I've been using. I'm just going to gently pull that and start to fluff this on. Really kind of blending because my edges have totally different shapes. <laughs> so just kind of trying to blend those up and fade those edges because they have totally different shapes, Shannon. What's going on in your neck of the woods, guys? Leave me some comments down below. I'm just going to take my Morphe 433. I need to order me another one of these babies. And again, I'm just going to come in. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of that face powder. The one I'm trying to empty out, guys. Whatever reason I can use this. <laughs> I've been trying to use it. And I'm just going to blend the edge. Just a little bit. That's a little better. Okay. Then I'm going to come into, I can keep it kind of burgundy-ish today. I am wearing red, so I don't want to go cray-cray. Or I can kind of stay up with the gold and pink. I'm going to come into framed, which may be a mistake. Tap some of that off and stamp her around the corner. And just kind of wiggle. Not really trying to go like super dramatic today. I say that every day, guys. I say that every day. Not gonna go dramatic today. Yeah. Who's got their Jeffree Star palettes that ordered online? Who's got a shipping confirmation? I'm still waiting. Haven't got a shipping confirmation. Plus, with everything that he's got going on, bless his heart, did you guys see, I'm sure you saw, if you're watching YouTube, that guy, he got hit. He got hit hard. Two and a half million dollars worth of product stolen from a warehouse. Some of it was, um, of course, the um, concealers that he's been working on. I'm going to clean that brush because I don't want to go any darker. And we're just going to blend now. 
and it's already hitting Facebook and some websites and people have uh, apparently have already been arrested because they trace those posts back idiot and um, I think they said there's a girl that's being questioned but all she did was repost the picture that was in the Facebook group of items for sale she reposted it apparently and I think they questioned her look how good that blends I don't see why people had issues well I think they said it was like batch issues so maybe I just got a good one I don't know but that just blends so good so good I don't know I didn't have any issues with mine anyway back to Jeffrey I need this is gonna be a really simple eye look guys really simple because I need to get out my door here in just a few minutes I'm going to come in with, I always use bomb ass because I love this color. So today I think I'm going to use a boom, which is a little more bronzy. I'm just keeping that kind of back out this way. But yeah, they got one shade of his concealer. And why they just took one shade, I don't know. Maybe they didn't realize what they were grabbing. And they took like a whole thing of the uh, Northern Lights high, uh, the highlight palette. They took like the whole thing of that. Um, he said lip liners. Um, looks like they may have got some blue blood because there was a blue blood in the picture that he showed. I'm going into Lolly. I'm just dragging that right over and letting them blend together but yeah that is that's some bullshit right there he thinks it may have been an inside job because the way I guess the way that they knew where stuff was maybe or knew about stuff I don't know but something um, they've done called in like the you know local authorities the FBI and he said he's hired his own investigative team just cleaning that brush and blending that line and this looks dark right there do you see that I think that's where I might have flicked up a little bit of shadow so I'm done with that for just this moment I'm going to come back in that big old blender running it through the switch and yeah I think I flicked a little bit of shadow up there when I was blending that's error on me see it right there so what I'm going to attempt to do is take my sponge take a little of it away nope it's not doing <laughs> this is not today lady not today we're not coming off today so I'm just gonna go back over that with face powder where I touched over it and I guess it's just gonna have to be there because I'm not taking all my makeup off for that <laughs> um, let's try the end with the makeup on it and be a little more aggressive all right so we're fixing errors today learn as you go again face powder you gotta learn to fix your mistakes I mean you know so this is live mistake well not live um, I'm gonna come in lightly to alert that was the one we went into it's very lightly I'm gonna grab my morphe brush back if I can find it well, shites. Where did I do my Morphe brush? <gasps> there it is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come into, um, I don't forgot what I went into. Framed. Just a little bit of framed. And I'm just very lightly so I don't get too dark. And I'm not slinging pigment up. Making sure we match. 
cleaning that brush off. And we're just going to come kind of down here in this corner and fluff. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm just blending. Fixed. Go learn to fix your mistakes. While I have that little palette, I'm going to go to grab. <laughs> Shannon makes a lot of noise. <laughs> this is just a flat liner brush. I'm going to come in with. Actually, I'm going to come in with bomb ass. Just to change it up. And bomb ass is going to go underneath. Do have a little bit of fallout I need to dust away. I've got to go to my aunts real fast. I did a kind of a craft project for them. They brought me something that was they bought as a birthday present for my cousin DJ. And when he looked at it the first time, it was okay. But when they went back to buy it, like a, a little bit later, apparently it had gotten bumped up. I'm not going to say what it is in case his wife is watching, but she probably knows. Hey, Sarah, if you're watching. Um, so it, apparently it had gotten a little bumped up. And it needed a little bit of touch up. So I got out my paints. None of my paints matched it. I'm getting my eyeliner, but it needs to be sharpened a little bit. And none of my paints matched it. So I got out my nail polish. <laughs> and yes, I could make a nail polish work, and I did. So I'm actually going to give him the the um, the um nail polish too. And I'm going to put a bow on it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's going to be his birthday present is the, the bottle of nail polish. And he's going to be like, what in the world? This is one of the creamiest black eyeliners. And it is Too Faced. And it came in the Love palette. And I need to get that palette out and use it. I've not used that palette either in a long time. So that might go in my next palette roulette. Because this is one of the creamiest, easiest eyeliners to use. I mean, look at that. You just barely got to touch it. And it is so black. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's just so creamy. And this one came in the palette. Oops. Shannon's just making all kinds of mess-ups today. You see that right out there? Q-tip. <laughs> Actually, there's a smudger on the end. Like a little smudger. Let me see if I can wipe that off. A little bit. We're just going to smudge it anyway. Smudging it anyway. Make it work, people. Make it work. Um, mascara. There's my eyelash curler. Yeah, I've been curling my eyelashes. Something different. I've been wearing falsies more. Um, and I actually still have some glue residue on my eyelids. I can't. It's just there. It's not budging. And it is the um, the tart glue that we got in Boxy Charm or Boxy Lux. That stuff's not coming off. <laughs> it's there to stay. It's about time to retire this voluminous. I've been using it forever. It's time to retire it. But, you know, I try to use them as long as I can. Um, because, you know, it's money. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on outside. What is going on outside my house? I hear like a lot of vehicles and people talking.
All right, there is that. Browns, elf. Elf, elf, elf. I was in Walmart last night. Every time I go into Walmart, you know you have to walk through the makeup section. And I keep praying that they will have like a display of the primer putty. But no, no, not today, not yesterday. So my hubby's like, what are you looking for? You don't need anything. <laughs> my primer putty. <laughs> and that's really what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. But, nope. Every time you go on the website, sold out. <laughs> Good enough. That's, 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 that is an extended version of my brow game. You guys know that, that was detailed compared to what I usually do. Um, that's about it. All but highlighter. Let's reach in my drawer. Actually, let's don't reach in my drawer. Let's use in the highlight drawer and pull out something I've not used. Oh, there's a Milani and there's Fenty, but I bet this is the summer one. Mm. I know what I will do. I'm going to take some of this and tuck it right in the center. The orange. Just right in the center. Shoot ya. All right, so I did use a little bit of that. And the Milani is a little too cool. So while we're talking about Jeffree Star, I'm just gonna grab some of these out of my way. Summer Snow Cone. I can't get it open. <laughs> oh, come on, why can't I not get this open? I need something, where is it? Where, 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 where? I was painting my nails. I don't want to mess them up. All right, Summer Snow Cone. As you can tell, I'm not using this one. I don't use this one a whole lot just because it is very golden. But guys, we're getting into that time of year. Yesterday was chilly. They had called for flurries like in the morning, but I didn't see anything. And I wore like a little cardigan, little knit cardigan dilly do over a sleeveless shirt. Look at how pretty. Um, so it was, it was, it wasn't cold yesterday, but it was cool. It was cool. So there we go. There's one of my own. Uh, I got two. These are my only two Jeffree Star highlighters. I have ice cold in, in the uh, summer snow cone. Jeffree, you need to do a sale, honey. You're rich now. You are like beyond rich. You can afford a sale. <laughs> But since he just got hit with that, you know, it's kind of sad to, to say Jeffrey do a sale. Um, for lippies, I've been staying like really nude. I grabbed this old sugar and this is in the shade Toffee. And it really kind of reminds me of Velvet Teddy. It's just more creamy. I mean, if you want to, I mean, seriously. It's not as pigmented. It's more like... Cause it's all sugar it's more like a lip balm lipstick but it's definitely more hydrating but not quite as pigmented i'll show you them together that's why i said they kind of look like each other and here put a little bit of velvet teddy right in the center just to give it a little more oomph i think that's it all but a setting spray and guys, what do I want to use today? Let's do coconut. Let's do MAC. I think my mascara is dry. Nothing like 
going to set your face and your mascara is not quite dry and you close your eyes and you get mascara all under your eyes because I'm impatient <laughs> that's it but if you're doing this let me know because it is a good little way to use it palettes that you don't grab for every day and I think that's all I'm gonna do and my hair I got some new shampoo and conditioner I don't like it and when I do my empties I'll show you what it is it, it's a gar I think it's a Garnier but right now when you first wash your hair I mean it feels clean I mean you can see it I just washed my hair and blow dried it there's no hairspray no mousse no there's nothing in my hair I try not to put a whole lot of product in my hair anymore um for one you can do the second day hair a lot easier if you don't have a lot of gunk left over in your hair from the day before and two, I just try to keep my hair healthy. Once now, I've got all the color back off of it. So, when I get to the second day hair now, my hair feels oily when it shouldn't feel oily. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing in it. All I've done is slip on it. And I don't know. There's just something about this shampoo and conditioner I'm not liking. I will tell you what it is when I do my empties video which one is getting ready to come up because my basket is about full but yeah um unless i've like really styled my hair a certain way and i want it to stay still once these bangs get out long enough i can put them behind my ear that's where they go or i pin them once it gets long enough for a ponytail it's a ponytail but yeah it's just now getting to that length where i want it back down to my chin and I can deal with it. I'm getting happy with it. I can style it. As you can see, it's behaving. It's doing what it's supposed to. And I'm finally to a point where I like it. Now it's just let it grow. All right, guys, that is it. Be sure you check out my giveaway. You still have to the end of April to get in on that. You do have to be subscribed to my channel. You don't have to hit the notification bell unless you absolutely want to. It is international. You have to be 18 years or older. All the usual spiel. I will leave that video linked down below. It is skincare and some makeup goodies and a few surprises thrown in. I always put in some surprises so you don't know what they are. They're just like, oh, I didn't know she's putting that in there. Yeah, that kind of thing. So if you want to get in on that, click that link down below. It'll take you to the giveaway video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. We're almost to 1,000. Ah! And I'll catch you guys on the next one.